Hey, Barb. I need a little barbecue sandwich fix. Pickles and onions. Pickles, onions, like a gallon of sauce. This is a daily stop here, either for coffee in the morning, catch up on the gossip. Am I going to need a roll of paper towels for that one? That's the only way to enjoy it. Slop it all over you. Well, it's a small community. Everybody knows everybody in here. They support their local owners, and you can tell right here they do a pretty good amount of business. Thanks, girls. The dinner table's kind of ugly. See if I can get this slop all over me. Oh, yeah. Barbecue in Texas. I don't get much better than that. Just got a call from an individual down here off Cooks Lake Road. They've had an encounter with an alligator snapping turtle in the, in the front yard. We got laws against any kind of harvest on them, any kind of possession in Texas. She with the recent floods, it could be Wilbur from three years ago that I relocated. He looks like a Wilbur. Good place for Wilbur to be set free. You yeah, ain't got him loaded up in nothing? I went up there and touched his tail and he snapped. I said, I'm done. I'm gonna wait on Mike. He's gonna snap at you. If you get hold of that arm, he won't let you go. I'm shaking. I know. I know you can reach back there and grab him, but uh -uh. look at the size of his head. Tell you. Just want to see how aggressive he's really doing a quick bite at it, or is he just sitting his mouth open? That would just take your arm bone in half. See that little worm on his tongue? They yeah, stick it out when they're underwater. But he's been around a while. Look at all that moss growing on him. You very seldom see them in the bio. I mean, you just don't see them come up for air or anything. Yeah, that's a unique critter right there. See how wild and crazy he's gonna get when I start fiddling with him. I figured that. I figured that. Get him set back in the bow. Live happily ever after. Tell All right. Okay, y'all. Be careful. He's not Wilbur. He may be a Wilbur Jr. Wilbur was a little bit bigger than him. But this one seems like he's more aggressive than old Wilbur. I'm going to go up down to Pine Island Bio, take him into some good, safe habitat. Uh, it's best to get him away from the residential area. That way, he's not around any household pets or a kid. He's a little ticked right now. Too many people getting around him. He got him a little agitated. Woo! Hey, Wilbur Jr. He looked at me. I don't stick your tail in there. to get up out of it in the truck. Now I'm kind of in a predicament because he's got me, got my grabbing spot in the corner. Hmm. Trying to get him move a little bit. Got his butt all whipped in the corner. Kind of made him mad. But dang it. Get my foot, sucker. Good I got him now. Oh. Oh. Easy, Wilbur. If I can get down this bank without flipping, I'll be good. You see that water? Wilbur Jr. See you later, Jr. Oh, here we go. Yep. 
How you doing? Not too damn Not good. Not too damn good, is it? All right. All right. So we got to search one for you out. Okay. For Doug. Hang on there, man. Where is I'm working with the uh, Matagorda County Sheriff's Department along with their narcotics task force. We're issuing this search warrant. This individual's been known to kill deer illegally. Supposedly he's in possession of some illegal taking alligators, so I'm going to be looking for them. Yeah. Hmm. Damn. Man, you got laying everywhere. Now, these are all old. Man, it seems like I know he's killed more deer than this. I know he's got some deer heads somewhere. I'm looking for alligator heads. There are a lot of deer horns there. I did look at them to see if there was any fresh deer horns. There was no fresh ones taken. There we go, some base gator heads. Hunting alligators in Texas, you have to have tags that are issued by the state. The no tag number on them. They're supposed to have a tag number stenciled on the bottom of the jaw, and these do not. This is an older head here. There's a bullet hole right there. They shot him in the nose. Let's see what he says about him. Tell me a story on these alligators. Just from 1995. 1995. Mr. Portland Beckman. Who'd you hunt with? Kevin. That's when they don't have a Saudi's tag number under them. That's how you brought them back to him. I didn't even go. He took them for me. He took them for you? Mm hmm Shot straight with you the last time, didn't I? Yeah. I cut you some pretty good slack. And I want you to shoot straight with me. You didn't, you didn't stop deer hunting last year. Yes, I did. No. How many bucks did you kill last year? One. One? What'd you kill? I didn't kill any after that one shot that shot for you. None of them horns in there from last year? <laughs> no. Huh? There ain't nothing in there from last year. None of them fresh looking ones from look like they could be last year's. Uh, Where'd you kill them? I don't remember the last time I killed deer was probably year before last. Year before last? All right. Dickie's a poacher. He knows the game. You're going to have to really catch him in the act to get him to incriminate himself. The narcotics team ended up finding probably close to 20 grams of methamphetamine, some marijuana, some drug paraphernalia. They found weights and scales. We got three alligator heads without any tags on them. We're going to seize them and charge him with possession of untagged alligators. He's going to jail. Hopefully, it'll put a stop to it. That's our whole goal to catching poachers, put a stop to it.